Hello friends, I'm George, the nice medic gentleman. Welcome back to the channel guys, I hope that all of you are doing well. Today I'm going to talk about two scents from the brand of Fragrance World, from the manufacturer of Fragrance World that are heavily inspired by some famous designer fragrances. On one hand I have a fragrance that's sold under the Fragrance World brand and it's called L'Infinite Jacques Yves and this one is inspired by Louis Vuitton's L'Immensité and the other one comes from the brand Atur Al Alam which again is a sub-brand of Fragrance World and it's called Igra. This one is inspired by YSL Lanoid Delon Blue Electric. So let's review those two today. I'll start the video off uh, with uh, the Linfinite Jacques If fragrance from uh, Fragrance World. The fragrance comes packaged in this, uh, you know, interesting uh, looking bottle uh, box. Excuse me. Uh, on the front you got the name of the fragrance, the concentration EDP, the bottle size 100 milliliters. On the top and on the back you get some Fragrance World branding along with a sticker of authenticity. On the bottom there's a production date that's stamped on which reads uh, April of 2024. So uh, a bit of a recent bottle. And then once you take out the bottle, this is how the bottle looks. Now I'm not going to show you the bottle in full detail because it looks very similar to the original fragrance that it's been inspired by. And I could get into trouble for that. Uh, just wanted to show you the cap, which is a pretty snug, not a super snug fit, uh, although it's uh, quite snug. You know, the packaging is interesting. I'll put up a full photo of the bottle itself right here so we can take a better look at it and all around again packaging is pretty simplistic but not bad at the same time. The note breakdown of a Jacques if Linfinite from Fragrance World has the following notes. The top notes are grapefruit, ginger and bergamot. The middle notes are watery notes, sage, rosemary and geranium and the base notes are ambroxan, amber and labdanum. And I think this is the exact same note breakdown as you get with the original fragrance. I'll show the spray in action and then I'll tell you about the scent of Linfinite uh, Jacques from Fragrance World. The spray is actually a uh, very, very decent and puts a good amount of juice out. And now on to the scent of Linfinite Jacques Yves. This fragrance is a very, very fresh, has a bit of an old scoop vibe to it, opens up a very fresh, very sort of unspicy from the ginger note. It has a very strong ginger note in the opening that brings freshness and at the same time a bit of spiciness as well. You got quite a lot of citrusy freshness as well. The grapefruit and the bergamot. The grapefruit is not very sweet. The bergamot feels very fresh as well. That adds even more freshness to the opening of this fragrance. The opening feels a bit watery again and also a bit of a sort of a, has a green touch somewhere in the background. It's a very interesting, very fresh, but at the same time uh, a bit of a sweet opening as well. There's definitely quite a lot of amber sweetness uh, in the opening of this fragrance. It's very easy to wear and works great in warm weather. When this fragrance goes into the dry down, what happens with it is that it loses a bit of it, its freshness from the opening, uh, you know, the bergamot note. Uh, almost completely disappears uh, in the dry down. On the dry down you get the, gin the ginger is pretty strong, it's uh, one of the main uh, sort of notes in this uh, fragrance. The grapefruit note is there, you still uh, retain some of that uh, slight greenness that you get out of this fragrance. Uh, also it becomes uh, quite a lot sweeter on the dry down. There's lots of ambroxan in here and lots of ambery sweetness and I even pick up uh, a bit of a sort of an oozy uh, feel out of this fragrance on the dry down. Oh, you know, it's a very easy to wear, very versatile uh, and uh, also a fragrance uh, and uh, a scent that has a bit of an old school vibe to it. As I said uh, in the beginning of the video, this fragrance has been inspired by Louis Vuitton's L'Immensité and actually does a pretty, pretty good job at uh, replicating the original scent. The original definitely feels of a lot higher quality, but it's a lot more expensive. Also, uh, at least in my nose, the original has a more watery feel, uh, you know, in the whole scent. Uh, this one feels a little bit sweeter compared to the opening, but other than that, it's quite, quite similar. And especially in the air, you know, it does uh, a very good job at replicating the original fragrance. When it comes to performance, it's been a very decent performer, considering that this is a fresh scent profile. I've been getting about seven hours, maybe slightly over the seven hour mark of performance uh, on skin and clothes combined, which again, for this scent profile, Profile, I think it's a very very decent also projects nicely for the first about hour and a half when it comes to the price tag I paid about 22 23 euros I think to get this fragrance and at that price point I think it's a pretty decent deal because it has good enough quality will get you 
quite close scent wise to the original scent and still costs a fraction of the price of the original. And when it comes to versatility, again a fragrance that's great for warm weather but the reality is that this is one of those super super versatile scents that can be worn all year round. And now on to the second fragrance that's featured in today's video that comes from Atur Al Alam, again it's a brand of uh, Fragrance World and it's called Igra. The fragrance comes packaged in this uh, silver colored uh, box with some uh, dark blue accents. On the front you got the name of the fragrance, uh, the bottle size which is 80 milliliters in this case, the concentration EDP on the top and on the back you got some Atur Al Alam branding along with a sticker of authenticity and on the bottom there's a production date which reads uh, July of 2023 and once you take out the bottle this is how the bottle looks. It has this sort of a purplish uh, you know color to it. The cap is plastic, not a very snug fit, uh, although this is only 80 milliliters, it's actually quite a heavy bottle. All around, uh, the whole packaging and the bottle design feel kind of cheap, but this is also pretty cheap uh, when it comes to the actual price. The note breakdown of Igra from Atul Al Alam has the following notes. The top notes are cardamom, ginger and bergamot, the middle notes are lavender and geranium and the base notes are cedar and vetiver. I'll show you the spur of this one in action and then I'll tell you about the scent of uh, Igra. Again, a pretty decent sprayer. And on to the scent of this fragrance. As I said, this fragrance has been inspired by uh, Lanoi de Long Blue Electric. But to be honest, I feel this more like a, a heavy twist on the original DNA rather than a straight up copy. This to me feels like a mix between Lanoi de Long and Lanoi de Long Blue Electric. The opening is very spicy. There is a ginger note like you get with Blue Electric, but it feels a lot of, sort of an, uh, less prominent compared to the original fragments. Here the freshness in the opening comes more from the bergamot note. Also this feels very very uh, heavy on the cardamom. It feels like a spicier version of a Blue Electric in the opening. There is also quite a lot of ambery sweetness in here and also a very strong lavender note. The lavender note in here is stronger compared to the original fragrance. So the opening is somewhere, stands somewhere in between Lanoi de Lom and Lanoi de Lom Blue Electric, but feels heavier on the cardamom than both fragrances and also feels heavy on the uh, ambery sweetness compared to both of them. When this goes into the dry down, it becomes uh, again this mix of the cardamom, the lavender and uh, the cedar like you get with the original fragrances. Uh, here though again it still remains sweeter, uh, it has more ambery sweetness compared to both uh, original fragrances. Also this uh, to my nose feels a little bit more woodsy compared to both fragrances and uh, the lavender note still uh, remains very very strong on the dry down uh, giving this a sort of an, a very soapy um, smell, very soapy vibe. All around this has been uh, inspired by Lanoi de Lom Blue Electric and Lanoi de Lom, but again has uh, quite a bit of a twist uh, done to the whole scent profile. But I can say that uh, this actually is pretty pretty enjoyable. When it comes to the similarities between this and the original scents, as I said this has uh, less of a prominent uh, ginger note in the opening compared to Lanoi de Lom Blue Electric. It's heavier on the cardamom and it's also heavier on the lavender in the opening. And then on the dry down this is more woodsy. It's again still heavy, heavier on the lavender compared to the original fragrances and also has more ambery sweetness and has this sort of a uh, soapy vibe. So this is not a straight up copy of the original scent but more like uh, something done in a similar style with uh, quite a strong twist on the original scent. When it comes to performance, it turned out to be quite a decent performer actually. It performs uh, pretty much on par with my bottle of uh, Lanoi de Lom Blue Electric which means uh, that I get about 7.5 to 8 hours of performance out of this fragrance with quite strong projection in the first hour and a half. It projects uh, a little bit stronger than my bottle of Lanoi de Lom Blue Electric and definitely beats out uh, the OG Lanoi de Lom when it comes to performance both longevity and uh, projection as well. So all around I have no complaints when it comes to the performance of Igra. When it comes to the price I paid about 19 euros I think if I remember correctly which makes it uh, on par with uh, the one that I have from Grand Dior which is again inspired by Lanoi de Lom Blue Electric as the two cheapest uh, inspirations that I have of the original fragrance in my collection so that makes it a pretty good deal. 
And when it comes to versatility, it's a, another very, very versatile fragrance. Very masculine, very sexy scent that can be worn pretty much all year round. And at the end, a few final words about the two fragrances featured in today's video. When it comes to uh, Jacques Yves uh, L'Infinite from Fragrance World, this is a very, very nice inspiration of uh, L'Immensité from Louis Vuitton. It costs a fraction of the price of the original scent, it has a pretty good performance considering the scent profile, it has pretty nice quality and all around it's a nice option for those who are looking for uh, something that will replace or come close to uh, uh, you know, the original fragrance. This can also serve as an alternative for Bulgari's Tiger, although they are better Alternatives uh, that are closer to Tiger, this uh, is done in a similar style. Has a bit of a barbershoppy vibe, has a bit of an old school vibe, but it's a very nice, easy to wear and enjoyable masculine scent that uh, can, also must, can also be perceived as uh, unisex as well. Good performance all around, a very, very decent fragrance that I've been uh, really liking so far. When it comes to Igra from uh, Atur Al Alam, this turned out to be a surprisingly interesting and uh, at the same time good alternative slash twist on the original DNA of Lano Delon Blue Electric. It's uh, not a straight up copy, feels quite different, but at the same time carries a lot of the properties of the original fragrance. Has very good performance, has very good projection, and is also very very cheap. So again if you're looking for something done in a similar style to Lano Delon Blue Electric with very decent performance and very low price then you can check out Igra from Atur Al Alam. And so guys in today's video I reviewed two scents from Fragrance World. L'Infinite Jacques Yves and Igra from Atur Al Alam. I hope that you found this video interesting. If you did give it a like and I also hope that you're going to join me in the next one. And until then, stay safe and bye-bye.